Pisces, it's your girl Spiritual Sag. Look, y'all, it's 434 in the morning. I don't know about y'all, but every morning I get woke up around 3. So, I just did Capricorn. It didn't come out in Capricorn, but the moon kept showing itself. And that is my Pisces card. So, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, you might want to check that out. But, baby, let's see what's going on. So, I got uh, Libra, Pisces, and Taurus left. And that's going to be it. But it's morning. Um, it's almost like Pisces are getting a lot of downloads and it's going against what they, it's going against their physical reality. Pisces is opening up to, it's like their intuitiveness, okay? And it's causing Pisces to stress out a little bit. Now, Pisces, if this is not your energy, this is someone external to you. But it's causing this person to stress out a bit because it's, it goes against what they currently have going on in their life. Okay, in fact, this person's get this is this person's also waking up at three in the morning. Yep, weird hours. It's not weird. It's spiritual hours, but this person they're waking up around that time in the morning, and they have these like crazy. They're not crazy thoughts or ideas, but this person thinks so because it really goes against their reality. It could even go against their religion. These these ideas that they wake, it, it's really downloads from spirit. And when they wake up at 3 a.m., y'all, I don't know about y'all, but when I wake up at 3 a.m., spirit is really communicating with me. Okay? So I'm going to do this reading and see what's going on. You can have Pisces anywhere in your chart. Someone rising Venus, even North Node. All right? Ancestors of the highest white light ask that you come in. Allow me to channel the energy surrounding my Pisces people. Please and thank you, spirit. Archangel Michael asks that you come in and protect me as I open myself up the channel. Let's get your angel message first, Pisces. See what's going on. This is someone's rising sign I'm hearing. Child, okay? You care deeply about children. Hmm. You care deeply about children. Let's see what's going on with that rock bar. Bottom of the deck. It's time to go. It's time to go because Pisces is seeing something that goes against what's going on in their physical. Okay? Let's see what this is about. It says, wait, the timing is quite is not quite right. So that's that's the thing. That's that non sports energy. It's like, and look, children again. Okay? Child and children. But I'm telling y'all what I heard. Someone's staying in a situation because of children. But spirit is showing that person that they don't need to be there. Yeah. When this person wakes up at 3 in the morning, these weird hours of, of the morning, that non sports energy is telling this person that it's time to go. But this person's physical is like, wait. You know, I'm picking up emperor energy. I'm picking up um, King of Pentacles, which is the father, and Emperor, which is also a father. That's what I'm picking up here. Take it where it resonates, okay? This person is being shown all of the reasons why they're supposed to be somewhere else. But because of children, they've been staying. They're in a loveless, lifeless relationship. I'm here in marriage also. But it's the kids that keeps this person stuck. But everything, all of the downloads that they're getting from spirit is dreams about you and this person. Visions of the future. And they're like, it, it, and it feels so good in the dreams. But again, when they wake up, it, it goes against what they have in their physical. Okay, so let's, let's break it down, y'all. And like I said, Pisces, if this is not your energy, yeah. If it's not your energy, it's someone external to you. But look at this right here. It could be it could be a Leo, it could be a Gemini. Someone is in a lifeless, loveless marriage or relationship. But they stay, could be for pride, prideful reasons. Um, I feel like this person's definitely with a karmic lover whom they have children with. Let's just be honest here. But emotionally, there's no fulfillment there. This person's staying there out of old, outdated beliefs. Look at this. They got a whole ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yes, this is what Spirit's telling this person in their dreams. 
It's time to move forward. It's time to go. That's that energy. It's time to go. It's time to choose to move forward, get that ace of cups to someone else. Because this person's in love with another energy. Pisces, I feel like it's you. Or Pisces, you're the one that needs to move. But again, when you wake up, you're like, mm, wait a minute. I can't just leave. The timing ain't quite right. I got children here. Okay? So this person's like really stressing out. Really stressing out. I feel like this person doesn't have the confidence because nothing has confirmed it on the physical. It's been all downloads. So this person's like, what the fuck do I do? I have a deep knowing. Pisces, this could be you because you guys are intuitive as fuck. It's like I have a deep knowing that this is my person. Even though I'm stuck here because of some children, you know. But what do I do? This goes against everything that I know. This is this is hard for this person. Because I feel like they're about to take a leap of faith on pure downloads that they have been receiving from spirit. And I can't make it up. They're about to close out a cycle. Every night, this person's woke up out of their sleep with more downloads, more reasons that it's time to go. And it's getting to that point to where they can't take it no more. They're already restraining themselves. They already restraining themselves. But it's getting to that point to where they're just going to take that leap of faith. And so I'm going to tell you now, there's people around this person that's going to be talking shit. Because what they're about to do, people are not going to be able to explain it. This person can't even explain it. It's unexplainable. Even the connection that they have to you is unexplainable. You're about to leave a family and go and give an ace of cups? What? It's so out of character for this person. That's why I keep picking up Emperor, King of Pentacles. But take it where it resonates. It's out of character. This person likes to people please. This person likes to do what's best for the masses. But this person is about to do what spirit keeps showing them every night in their dreams. And that's what's going to be, again, I cut it on the word. Spirit keeps showing this person, look, bro, it's time to go. It's time to go. And they physical self keeps stopping them, keeps stopping them. The spirit says it's time to go. <coughs> All right, let's see what we, and that's the true spirit say. Somebody's about to do what they keep seeing in their uh, dreams. What else, spirit? Because this is what they see in their dreams. Huh? Complete happiness. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. Complete happiness. They feel like this is a destined partnership. They like, I, I, it's unexplainable. But I like the feelings that I have with these dreams. This person don't start sweating until they wake up. And then they look at they physical. And they're like, well, damn. Why couldn't the shit been real? Why couldn't my dream have been real? Spirit says it can just as soon as you make the choice to move, this person's angel is telling them, it's time to go. It's time to go from here. And they've been months, I'm hearing, for months, this person has been having reoccurring dreams of you guys together, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. But the simple fact is someone definitely has children here. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Child and children. Okay? It keeps them stuck. In the past... Commitment. All right, so now you have, you got Gemini high and strong with the lovers and the king of swords. But the king of swords, it's like, I'm about to speak my truth. The, the king of swords sees the truth and clarity. All right. What else, spirit? Wow. Victory and success. They know if they go. If they were to go with, and that's the confusion, y'all. Because everything that spirit shows this person in their dreams is total wish fulfillment. Right? 919 on the phone. But when they wake up, this is the energy that they're in. Some of them is married. We just saw the king of swords. There's the queen of swords. The king and, and queen of swords could be a, a couple who's unhappy with each other. All they do is cuss each other out. Cut each other with their words, with their actions. But yet, they stay together for the for the kids, for the stability. It's like, what the fuck? Spirit is telling your person it's time to become free and independent. But there's this child, Page of Pentacles, that doesn't, it makes it hard. There's the, the, the conflict. It makes it hard for this person to walk away from this toxic energy 
Remember I said, Pisces, you came up in Capricorn? You, you came out. You didn't come out on the board, but the moon kept showing itself. So if you're dealing with a Capricorn, 1010 on the phone, you need to go and watch that reading. Because in that reading, it says, you're always on my mind. I, it no matter what in the fuck I do. You're always on my mind. And that person was going to something like this. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. And that one was a twin flame. Okay? So, this, and yeah, and in that reading, that person had to heal themselves before they could manifest this brand new beginning to have this reconciliation. But that's what you're doing. They're coming. Just as soon as this person heals themselves, they're coming towards you. I see it. But I'm telling you, it, it's for months this person has been stressing because their intuitive nudges go completely against this person's physical, goes against what they believe, it goes against family and friends, all of that. And it's it's not like this person to do what they're about to do. And and that some of y'all really is, yeah, let it go right there. It goes against it, but this person can't help that they're completely in love with you. I just saw 11 11. I saw 11 11 in Capricorn's reading. Huh? Mm, mm, mm. There's going to be communication that's going to cause unstoppable forward movement because this is destiny. It's destiny now. But yeah, people, family and friends, that's this five of wands. They are not going to believe this person when they make that move because it's just so odd. For this person to stand on their ten toes. Because whoever this is, they're used to pleasing everybody else. And doing what everybody else say do. But they putting an end to something. And ten of swords is not just, oh, I'm going to end it for now. This is ending. Like, it's done, done. Done, done. Huh? If someone's choosing better, what are they choosing? Balance. You guys could be dealing with a sad, with the tempers here. But this person's choosing restoration. This is also reconciliation here. Seven Swords energy is, for some of these people, it's going to be, for some of these people, that are, they're about to sneak and send you some messages. Because we do have the Eight of Wands here. They're about to sneak and send you some messages because this person wants to know if you feel the same way. They're like, I can't get this person out my fucking head. Every morning I wake up at these weird hours of the morning, um, Pisces is on my mind. Okay? So I'm about to sneak. And the reason they sneaking is because they in another situation now. I'm telling you that now. This person's in another situation simply because of some children. So this person's about to sneak and send you a message. And what do they want to know if you feel the same way they do? Do you want a brand new beginning? 13, 13 on the phone. Do you want a brand new beginning with me? Or is all of this shit in my head? Is all of this shit in my head or is it real? Okay? So prepare for that message. Some of you guys could intuitively feel... Uh, that this person's about to reach out to you. Energetically, y'all can feel it coming. You know. This is a lot of momentum right here. It's causing sleepless nights. Let's get some more of these out. Um, Past life love. Intuition. I just said, it says... You already know the answers that you see. We just saw the high priestess. I said, y'all could feel this coming. Y'all know it's coming. All right? And remember when I was talking about the Capricorn reading, I said that was a twin flame? This here is too. It's a past life lover. And it's it's not that this person's obsessed with you. It's like spirit is obsessed with showing them the energy. Because somebody's spirit, guys, is like day after day telling them it's time to go. Get that torch. That torch is the Ace of Cups. Take that leap of faith. And when you do, we're going to shower you with this abundance here. So, okay, Spirit says they have someone. Um, that they're connected to that is obsessed with them. I don't, let's see why. Spirit, why is that person obsessed 
Why is that person obsessed with Why do they want to keep them stuck? We could be dealing with an Aquarius. Why do they want to keep them stuck, Spirit? It don't matter what they want to do. It's coming down anyway. It's coming down anyway. Like I'm telling you, it's going to be shocking to this person, to their family, to their friends, to you. Pisces, this is going to be shocking to you. Now, I'm here for some of y'all that okay for some of y'all pisces this is you like you're the one that's a, that keeps waking up with these obsessive thoughts of someone else and for some of you guys a person's leaving a pisces to go towards a past life lover but for the most of y'all you're the person that's on their mind and they're coming towards you it's going to be fucking shocking when this person come back around Past life soulmate. What did it say? Past life love. It's just going to be shocking because everything on the physical goes against. This person could be real traditional. Like I said, they just used to listening to everybody else. But they do got an energy that is obsessed with them. Obsessed with keeping them stuck. I don't know what it's for. But it's, it's coming down. It's supposed to have been let go a long time ago. Because I heard months. This person's gripped with these thoughts for months. And they haven't done anything. So that's why the tower's coming down. Spirit's like, I say it's time to go. Damn it, it's time to go. Alright? And there it is. It's time to go. So, baby. Get ready. Empress. Get ready for someone to come towards you wanting to collaborate, wanting to work this out. Trying to figure, how can we work this out? I don't know how we can work it out. All I know is I can't stop thinking about you. And I, I, I keep waking up with these dreams of you. And I'm just, I, I, first of all, I need to know, do you feel the same way? And if so, how can we work it out? Because that's what I want to do. Are you in agreement with me? That's what this going to be about. Yeah. They want to know, do you feel the same way? They could have hurt you in the past, and so they're not sure if you feel the same. But if you tell them you feel the same, you got to, you're about to get an offer of a commitment that's going to be balanced. But I'm telling you, somebody's about to sneak in. I'm not saying this is right, all right? I'm just telling you why. You know, some people get so upset when I read the cards and it says that, oh, this person's about to sneak away from their marriage. Listen, okay, I'm just a fucking messenger. I'm not saying whether it's right or wrong. I just know people need to stop looking at shit on the 3D level. Just because motherfuckers is married don't mean that God ordained that marriage. Not when you're dealing with no past life relationship. Huh? And spirit is the one that's telling this person with intuition. Keep waking this person up in the middle of the night. Telling them to go. You hear me? So don't get mad at me, boo. So with the eight of wands... Seven swords, page of wands, you're about, somebody's about to sneak and find a way to message you, communicate with you. Because all they want to know is, do you feel the same way? Is this a mutual feeling? Do you, do you have dreams about me? Or is it just me? What's going on? Help me figure this out. Because I don't understand. But they have the urge. They can't fight the urge no more. They've been, they've been fighting for a long time. But with the tower here, they're not going to be able to fight it anymore. Spirit says it's time to go. It's time to go. All right? So, Pisces, that is what I get for you. Take this where it resonates. I named that Capricorn reading. Uh, you're, you're in for a surprise. I guess I'm going to name this something like that because that's what this is going to be. That tower is going to be sneaky, surprisingly sneaky communication. I don't fucking know, bro. I'm going to name it something. But it's going to bring about wish fulfillment. Okay? Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. Spirit say it's time to go. And that's just pity. You can't go against spirit. You can. And, and someone has been going against spirit. But it's going to happen. It's about to be a painful ass ending somewhere. And someone's about to be able to follow their heart. No matter how much chaos and conflict it brings. 
Spirit says the chaos and conflict is because this person continues to stay. Once they follow their heart, they're going to be at peace. And then there'll be victory and success. All right? So take it where it resonates, Pisces. Put yourself where you belong. It's your girl, Spiritual Sage. That's what I have for y'all. And baby, until next time, bye.